In this video, I'm going to show how to use input control in web intelligence, SAP business objects. So input control is nothing but filter. It's going to be a dynamic filter. So first of all, we need to understand what is filter. So filter is something like to restrict the data. So it is going to horizontally cut your data set and to, to provide only certain data which is satisfied the filter condition. So we can apply that filter condition in a three different levels uh, starting from a database level and end to the report level. So in a database level itself you can create a filter to restrict the data. So for example in your requirement uh, end user wants to filter uh, some data in a database level itself. They want to see uh, only specific data uh, for the report and uh, few data uh, they don't want to see in a report if that is the case you can apply that filter in a database level itself so the filter is going to be a dynamic filter or it is going to be a static filter uh, something like a hard coded value so which you have to uh, define based on the requirement so when you come out to the out of that database uh, that is uh, in the next level still you can create a filter on a universe or in a business layer so in that second level itself uh, you can filter the data so you can restrict the data which is uh, which should not go to the report level so which you can do that in a second level as well in a third level uh, which is nothing but uh, report so as you know uh, in a report level in if you take web intelligence we have uh, different options to filter the data so we have a uh, prompts and we have a filter bar and we have an input control so prompts is nothing but uh, when you open a report it is going to uh, show a pop-up screen which has some uh, kind of columns which you want to filter it out so this can be defined in a database level or in a universe level or in a web level so uh, actually based on the requirement that will be enabled so once you uh, get the pop-up you can or end user get the pop-up they can filter and they can see the results so whatever the value they are specifying only those data will be uh, reflected in the report the next one is filter bar so we have a filter bar uh, which i will discuss in the next session now uh, the third option is input control so input control uh, can be created for uh, document level or a report level so let me explain what is document and report so when you create a new uh, new object or uh, when you click a new button it is going to create a document so the difference between document and report is inside a document you can create a multiple reports so like this report one report two if you want to create a new report you can right click and you can add a new report so i can create an input control by going to this section and uh, I can create uh, input control for document control, document level input control or uh, report level input control. So document level input control in the sense when you have a, a multiple document with uh, different kinds of visualization and uh, table of figures, when you click the value in a document input control, it is going to filter for the all the reports. But uh, whereas in a report input control, it is going to affect only that particular report. It is going to uh, it is going to uh, filter the data only for that particular uh, specific report it is not going to affect other reports in a document so to create an input control I am going to click this new option so before that uh, what are the objects it is going to display so as you can see I have a three different columns state quantity sold sales revenue so uh, I can create a filter for these columns uh, even I can create a filter for uh, the columns which is not there in this report but that should be there in this uh, uh, report objects so these are the report objects so I can choose any one of these columns to filter the data so usually we'll be creating a filter on a dimensional column if we want to uh, create a filter for this uh, measures column then it is going to be like uh, greater than equal to so uh, those kind of operators so i'm going to uh, create a new input control click this new option and choose on which object uh, you want to create an input control so i want to create an input control for year so i can select year and go to next 
here you can see two different options single value and multiple values so single value in the sense uh, user uh, can choose only one value at a time uh, to restrict the data or to filter the data but whereas in a multiple value you can they can choose multiple values at a time to filter the data so for example i will show uh, one thing in a single value and uh, another object using multiple values so for example if i choose combo box i have to give the label name so as uh, this is just a uh, descript uh, year wise uh, input control so i'm going to keep as it is here and the list of values it is going to uh, get value from a database itself directly so it is going to show these values and still uh, you can choose what are the values you want to uh, display to the end users for example you have uh, data from 2004 to uh, up to 2016 but you want to show only few records to the end user to filter then you can specify that and you can uh, uh, apply this so in that is case actually it is going to show only the selected values so in this case i'm going to show all the values and default values so whenever you open a report it is going to uh, filter some default value in the sense then you can choose any any one of the value as a default so i uh, select 2005 as a default and allow selection for all values so it is going to uh, give you the option to so select all so i'll select uh, default as it is then operator so operator is going to be whether uh, 2000 five or uh, whatever the value you are selecting uh, that value needs to be filtered if that is the case then you have to select uh, equal to or uh, whatever the value you are filter uh, that filter needs to be apply in a reverse condition then you have to go with uh, not equal to so if that is a matrix then you can go with a less than or equal uh, equal to or greater than or equal to these two uh, these four uh, operators and go to next as i said it, this is going to uh, apply only for a report level so uh, by default it has enabled so if you have a multiple uh, report elements you can choose uh, by using this checkbox and you can add uh, uh, those elements into this report control so i have selected on report control uh, as i said this is going to be the uh, single value so i can select only uh, all values it is going to show all the values so see this still it is a single value uh, if i select 2006 it is going to uh, show a value for uh, year 2006 so if you don't want to uh, display this all value still you can uh, get rid of that by going to uh, setting and you can uncheck this box and if you uh, filter and if you see the values there is no all values so this is single value input control if you if you want to create a multiple value input control uh, you can go with this uh, for example i'm going with a different um, object and i'm going with the checkbox so i'm going to have a default and uh, if my categorical value uh, that uh, field has more values see here you can see lot of values are there so i can give uh, more uh, lines to show all the values and click next finish so these are the values which has filtered already uh, if i want to uncheck then i can show so i have to choose a, at least one object to see the results all right so like that ac uh, actually this is multi value so you can choose multiple values based on that you can see the results here so this uh, section is going to affect this report elements even if you have a chart by choosing this value the chart value is going to affect so this is kind this is a kind of uh, dynamic filter which we can uh, give this facility or option to the end user uh, uh, which they can uh, filter at any time uh, uh, to see the values thank you